good kitten internet. And I have a kitten right here. It's a very large orange kitten that's eight years old, but he's still one of my kittens. Uh, isn't that right, Zenku? Anyway, hi. Um, so I've leveled up. I had to go to white cap in order to level, and I'm wearing a work shirt, so I'm going to probably lean like this for a bit. Uh, this is not work sponsored. Anyway, um, I have leveled up, and this time I actually remembered to take pictures of what I've leveled. So this is before leveling for Eileen. Eileen's our knight. Helps if I actually open it up over here. I have a cat nudging my hand while I'm using the mouse. So this is what Eileen looked like before leveling up, and we leveled up to level, um, uh, words are hard. We leveled up to level 47, and this is before, and cat, ah, silly kitty. Can you not let me, there we go, and this is after. So basically I leveled up axe up to 10, or yeah, axe up to 10. Really I'm just throwing as many points as possible into axe from here on out. Um, bow is up to eight. Eight is what you need to be able to master. And I don't think I really changed much of anything. Oh, um, bodybuilding up to seven and shield up to ten. So she can now get the maximum amount of AC from her shield and also bodybuilding to get more hit points because obviously knights need more hit points. So next up we have Ed, our cleric. Ed before really only had points in body magic and not much else things have changed quite a bit um this is what ed looks like now i haven't increased bow or mace at all but i did bounce chain all the way up to 10 so now he can go master chain everybody can now master their respective armors and i dumped a whole heck of a lot of points into both dark magic and bodybuilding i put some change into shield um I'll probably eventually get him Master Shield, but I'm less concerned about that. So this is after, this is before, you can see lots and lots of increase. And now Dark Magic isn't going to be terrible. Next up, we have Regina. Regina, before, um, basically her points were all in fire, which there's a good reason for that. Um, also, as mentioned, I've increased everybody's armor, so Regina now, on the other hand, has 14 ranks in light magic. I think this might be, I think 15 is probably as high up as I'm going to go for light magic, because once I can find an item that increases, that's of light magic, so increases it by 50%, uh, actually 14 might be enough now that I think about it. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and cast Day of the Gods and take a look at our stats. Um, so anyway, this was Regina before. And this is Regina after. So um, the only other thing I really did was I bumped up air magic slightly more. Air magic I will be increasing to 12, just like the rest, but not immediately. This is the wrong character, isn't it? Yep. That's the right character. I was just flipping through the wrong image. Anyway, um, yeah. So she's definitely our light magic master. Finally, we have Matt. This was before, which I accidentally was showing before. Apologies for the confusion. Um, Matt hasn't changed a whole heck of a lot either. Uh, after looks like this. So the main difference is that he can now master fire magic. And also he has master leather potentially. Um, and I've started throwing more points in dark magic. And the reason for that is basically dark magic is going to be more useful with more points. In addition, you'll notice uh, nothing else. I think that's all I ended up doing. Yeah, that's all I ended up doing. So really lots of leveling up. Also, this cost me a lot of money. Um, let me quickly load what it looked like right before I ended up leveling just to give you an idea as to how much money we spent. So we currently have 305,000. 
leveling cost us about 12 or 120,000 gold pieces. This is the point of the game where experience is less of a problem and money is a bigger problem. This is the reason why I have a merchant, by the way. So let's go ahead and get back to prep. Um, I'm going to try to make this one a shorter episode because I have friends coming in uh, about an hour or so, and I still need to eat. Anyway, um, calendar-wise, it's a new moon, which is not at all helpful for us. Uh, it is now April, so I need to go back to New Serpical, or not New Serpical, um, I need to go back to Castle Iron Fist. Not set. Recall. There we go. And get our new quest of the day. Let's go ahead and fly. You can go ahead and cast Day of Protection. Just look at how... It's still not even a day long. Ugh. But look at how long Day of the Gods is going to last. Oh, that's right. I reloaded. Herp derp. Um, Day of the Gods. It's lasting two days and seven hours. That's pretty good. And stat-wise, we're doing way better on Day of the Gods now. We're at a plus 66 to all stats. Um, what I would like to do is get these in the 250 range, which would be about double what I have now. Um, in order to be able to do that, I currently have 14 ranks. What I would want to do is have a total of... 25 to 30 ranks in order to get 25 to 30 ranks the most effectively 20 ranks with a plus 50 percent to light magic is going to be what i'm going for anyway our pilgrimage this month is to the shrine of endurance shrine of endurance is located i know i've seen the shrine of endurance before uh yeah it's in white cap derp i was just there i'm going to do that right now before i forget White cap. And let's go a flying. <laughs> nah, I don't feel like casting Hour of Power. I don't want to deal with haste. Yay, plus 10 endurance permanent. Hooray! You now have over 100 endurance base. You still have zero luck because of our ox. Your intellect is terrible. Clerics are dumb in this game. Anyway, um, what else do I want to do? I need to go master things. So do I have the list of where mastery is? No, because that's in a different game. The auto notes actually do give you some useful things. Um, let me go look that up really fast. So that is do, 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 do. leather master is the main one I want. That is here. That's what I thought. Um, actually, isn't it like here? Or is this one the diplomacy one? That's the diplomacy one. That's expert mace, which I still don't have. Expert bowmanship, which I have on everybody except for the cleric. Because why do you care about a cleric actually having any weapon skill anyway? Um, is it in the other half of the Frozen Islands? It's where I want to say it is, but I'm coming here anyway. Because it's time to loot things again. And by looting things, I mean looting stores. That's enchantable, but it's already enchanted. Already enchanted. Enchantable. Ugh. There's no room. Oh, you don't have room? Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot to sell things at the end of the last adventure. Or episode, video, whatever. Let's go ahead and sell some of these things. Oops, I didn't mean to sell that. Oh, well, that's not that big of a deal. Okay, now I have enough space to continue buying. Um, I wanted to buy this amulet and this belt. Yep, that's all I'm gonna end up buying. So, ring, amulet, belt. 
That's enchant bait. That's cell bait. That's right, I have so many wands, it doesn't matter at this point. Mass distortion, I will keep. Finger of death is useless. Implosion, I can keep. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and sell some more things. Oh yeah, let's sell that empty potion bottle while we're at it. And I need to sell those. The selling will never end. Capitalism ho! Weapons. And Zun Kitty is crying again for no reason. Oh, right. I forgot. My merchant is actually high enough where I can just sell at the general store. Um, no. It's not actually high enough to do that. Interesting. Not at that general store, at least. It is at this one, though. Okay, now that I have inventory space... Going back on enchant item duty. Ugh, that's actually pretty bad. That's cell bait also. Yeah, halberds are considered spears in this game. I did not mean to hit that many times. Uh, let's get the armor taken care of. That includes helms. Why is it skipping so much? That's weird. Belts. And gauntlets. It's also a new moon, which this is supposed to be the worst time of day to enchant. I have absolutely no idea if it really makes any difference. Although these items are not so great, but they're actually on the higher end of what I can do. I didn't think I could make something that high. Did I just miss the cue that it wasn't already enchanted? That's the maximum level of enchantment I can do. That's why I'm suspicious. Hold on a moment. Let me... I'm going to double check on this. Because this seems awfully suspicious to me. Okay, yeah, that was already enchanted. I just didn't hear it. I know you all in YouTube land probably already did, but... Let's go back. Start enchanting these amulets. I mean, I think there's a fairly low chance of me finding anything I'm going to care about. Mostly because I already have some pretty good items at this point. What I'm really looking for are really randomized high-level stuff. Money is always useful. Might plus 12. I don't think I can enchant above plus 10. Is it not enchant above plus 15? Creator, you could probably help me on that if you're watching this. Um, just getting an idea of, yeah, my amulets are pretty awesome. Nope. Uh, electric resistance 11 might 11 that might actually be better than some of the things I have here it's not uh, how about you do you have any might increase plus 10 yeah no luck plus 12 you're the lone one only one with any luck items and you don't even have any rings of luck nope personality plus 10 I already know I have better than that uh, red potion I can actually use. Um, time to enchant weapons. Let's go ahead and sell the armor so I have enough space. And I'm almost... No, I'm not. I was at 400,000, not 300,000. Uh, okay. Pass cast. Axe. Pass cast. Sword. Pass cast. Sword. Pass cast. Sword. That was fast. My 
my dryer just buzzed. I suppose it wasn't actually that wet to begin with, so. Um, that's cell bait, that's cell bait. All swords are cell bait as much as I may want to keep any of these. And the axe is uh, not that great either. Oh, I don't need an axe anymore. I have the best axe in the game. Kronos is, in fact, the best axe in the game. Right, turn it around. Go back to weapon shop. I hear my housemate watching Jeopardy in the background. Sell all the weapons. I forgot to actually check to see. Nope, oh, you are actually still out of stock on things. And sell everything else. So I've almost made back what I spent in training. Given that I leveled up 17 times, that's pretty good. Anyway, let's do what I was doing before I got Ushiny distracted. Checking for trainers. You can't teach anything that I care about. I don't think anybody can teach anything I care about because I'm pretty sure I just have every skill I care about at this point. Uh, you are, you had a quest, I think. For dark membership, one of the two. Yeah, because you have elemental guild membership, so you had dark membership. The other side is where the trainers are at. But I have a hunch that the leather trainer is actually over in Castle Stone area. Peasant. Pshaw. Yep, because this is a dark magic expert. So, Castle Stone it is. Let's speed things up a few notches. Ignore some harpies. I don't have my headphones in at the moment. I mean, I'm sure you can tell that much, but. So that's Master Dagger, which I don't have either of them ready for. Here's Master Leather. Okay, got Master Leather. I want Master Chain as well. Master Chain is in Mire of the Damned. I hate that place so damn much, but okay. Um, and then I need bodybuilding. Why can't I find bodybuilding in this list? What is it, Zone Kitty? Uh, Meryl? Because there's a space on it. Okay. Um, Castle Iron Fist or New Serpical, then Free Haven. Okay. That's not too bad. So, I need to go to the damn mire. Lloyd's Beacon, Recall, Mire of the Damned. Where were you in the mire? Let's go back to normal speed because I'm going to get horribly lost here. Oh yeah, I could look at their incredibly craptacular weapon supply. I could buy one, nope, two, three weapons. And they're the lowest end weapons possible. Uh, why do you even exist, Mire of the Damned? Expert mace training, I still haven't even bothered with. How are you? Expert axe fighting, I already am. Okay, thanks. Smoke and mirrors, you're the alchemist. You actually, no, that's not actually worth picking up. So I can't enchant it. Divine cure, mm, that's actually not bad. That's the hit point version of the um, divine magic that I already have. Um, that's enchantable. Mm, that's enchantable. Yeah, it's not worth picking up anything else. This place is just so terrible. You're the arms master and you'd be willing to leave your child behind. Good job. A plus parenting skill right there. Okay, fly up here. Yeah, this was the lich quest. It's a cook. Water master. Hello. Scribe. Mailed fist armory. You've got shields. And shields suck. That's at least enchantable. 
I'm not normally here in the mire during daytime because I'm usually trying to run the hell away. Uh, let's see. What did I miss? Oh, I've already been to some looking mirrors. I didn't go up here. Yes, I did. That was that quest. And I went down there. Ugh, I hate this place so much because you can never find anything. And back to the spellmaster. There's Master Chain. It was directly across. Oh well. Okay. Now let's go to New Sorpical. I have some things to work on here. Uh, this one's bodybuilding, right? Yep. Yes. Get some more HP. All three of my experimentation, right? Yeah. Meow. Meow. Um, let's see. Oh, well, I'm here. Your bounty hunt this month's a sea monster. Okay. I can go to a place that has sea monsters. It's not the greatest of ideas, but I can do it. Nobody has earth magic. Well, I have one earth magic spell, but, um, okay. You don't need anything but master fire. You don't need anything at all, it looks like. I should probably have put more than one point in water magic on you, but oh well. Uh, you need bodybuilding master. And yes, I do know that I have not put 12 ranks into mind magic. You actually don't need it for anything. There's nothing really in the game that having 12 ranks of mind magic is really all that useful for. And let's see, you need bodybuilding master. Yeah, really, I just need two bodybuilding masters, don't I? Oh, and Bowmaster. Bowmaster is obnoxious to get at. I, that's going to take me a bit. Um, so, Bodybuilding Master is in Freehaven. Hell if I know where, though. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to guess it's by the rest of the trainers, which is over in this area. Although bodybuilding is usually in a weird spot. Wait, no. Bodybuilding master is in the other town next to Freehaven. I seem to remember it's the only other thing in Rockland. Is Rockland the name of this town? Bridgeport, Rockland. Rockham, that's what it is. Aren't you bodybuilding? Yes, you are. There we go. And now look at, uh, well, first, Lloyd's Beacon, Recall, Kriegspire, and waiting, 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 I don't really need to wait. Look upon my maximum hit points, 1,028. Aw, yeah. 217 might. Is it 250 or 200 that I need for taking Excalibur? I actually don't want Excalibur because then I'm using up one of my artifacts on something I'm not going to use. Okay, um, so let's go back to New Serpical and heal. Okay. And... We've gotten all of the skills except for... Oh, that's right. I wanted to go to Mist. So I can go get Master Fire. Which is just over here. Greetings. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now let's head back to New Serpical. Because New Serpical is actually where we want to go for once. Also, did you notice I didn't really need to uh, restore the magic on my sorcerer? Yeah. So very similar to how she has a thousand hit points. These have nearly 600 spell points at this point. It's pretty nice. 
Anyway, we're finally going to go to the island that's offshore. And I've actually walked, I've flown over here before off camera because I was looking for um, herbs on the ground. But all those red dots, that's where we're going. It's goblins and mages. Oh boy. We can't quite kill everything in one shot. But what we can do is drop some meteor showers on people. Eh, let's go even more special. Let's drop starbursts so we can start up the juice. You can drop a meteor shower because you're actually good at fire magic now. Plunk. Oh, that's so much more satisfying. This isn't actually where we want to go, by the way. I just wanted to clear this area out. It was bothering me that there was anything left in New Serpical that wasn't cleared out. New Serpical is the first zone. How can I not clear out New Serpical? is in the shrine? Yeah, you're in the shrine. Not that the shrine's gonna do me any good right now. I don't remember what month that is. So, I've got a couple of quests to do, including one quest that I want to do. I could go do that now, actually. It's not a bad one, so it'd be a short recording. So um, this island, by the way, has the water expert here. They like have, and so the air expert is up in the air. You have to use jump to get over. The water expert's across some water. You have to use uh, water walking or just lots of hit points. Don't care. That's the only treasure chest. But let's actually go to where we need to go, which is over here. This island that suspiciously has nobody on it. Wrong island. It's over here. This island, which suspiciously has nobody on it. It's kind of volcanic-ish ruins. Just a single... Goodbye. Oh, there's monsters everywhere! And they're all the highest level! Oh no, what shall we ever do? I did not actually mean to aim there. Wow, I can hear the headphones. Let me move the headphones out of the way so you all don't end up with horrible feedback that I was not anticipating. Whee! And we? We. Let's go over here. Mop up the remains. Drop a meteor swarm on top of them. Mop up that mange, mop up that goblin. By the way, these style of tactics are what we're going to be using to handle a lot of higher level enemies. I'm just getting used to them again. There we go, all cleaned up. Goblins drop shields. I don't think I've ever seen that. No. Or have noticed it. I've probably seen it and just didn't notice. Hey, how's it going? All right, you've got a scholar hey, how's it going? and a healer over here. Both are very useful places. Or useful things. I have worth picking up. Anyway, we're actually over here for Garrick's Forge, which is the dungeon in that corner. I'm not going to go do that right now. I'm going to do a quest that is... Not only is it not required, you're actually better off not doing it. But I promised that I was going to do every quest in the game, and that includes dealing with the brat. Oh, sell, sell, sell. 
sell, sell, sell. You don't even have anything useful, do you? That's enchant bait. That is a black potion. Uh, that's enchant bait. That's enchant bait. All the rest of this is that. This isn't even worth picking up. Anyway, so Garrick's Forge is over here. This is the dungeon in New Serpical where you, if you decide to wander over here, you go, oh, this doesn't look too bad. Let's go into this dungeon. Yeah, that's a horrible mistake. Never do that. Just don't. You have to. It is required for the game for you to go through it. And it's actually one of the slowest dungeons for a speedrunner, oddly enough. Because there's only a few things that you can skip through. But no, we are going to go to Castle Iron Fist. Now, something I want to do, because I've never known how this works. I've got 1313 reputation. And that amount of experience. I need 4192 left. 1313, 4192. So you'll notice that I had never talked to Nikolai Iron Fist, and there's a reason for that. Because he has this topic called boredom. The palace is deadly dull, and everyone tells me what to do. Being royalty isn't really worth much, and no one will let me go outside the walls while my father's gone. I haven't even left the castle for months. Anyway, you people look pretty important. What if you helped me sneak out and stay with you for a couple of days? I can't do much for you in return yet, but I'll owe you a favor. Someday, I'll be able to repay you. I'm the prince, after all. I'll go out the secret door and meet you outside. Let's go see the circus! And that will be important later. And we now have Nikolai Iron Fist in our party. He wants to go see the circus. If you were to go anywhere at all, it does not matter where, but if you move anywhere. Oh, he's actually still in the party. I wonder if it's actually possible to do this without him running away. Um, if you take any time to do something, he will just run away. And then you have to go find him. And the only hint that you have is that he really liked the circus. So guess where we're going. And the circus is over here. Or up here. I always forget where it's at in Blackshire. And in the month of April, the circus is actually here. I'm going to have to deal with these scoopers, aren't I? Ah, come on. Just die already, dust devil. Thank you. There. I want to make sure it's green. Hello. So, the circus has these types of games, and you get a reward based off of how well you do. You either win a lodestone, a harpy feather, or a four-leaf clover, depending on how you do. And if you do poorly enough, you win nothing. What the game actually is doing is it's a test of skill so this is an intellect game we're going to use our highest intellect mage and you win a harpy feather lodestone four leaf clover it's a random roll based off of your stat it also costs some money to do but seriously money's not a big deal at this point we've got a might game You get the idea. Hello. Endurance game. Who actually has the best endurance in my party anyway? Uh, 173, 166, 145. Uh, you actually do at the moment. Endurance game, which you'll notice I'm getting lower rewards because my stats lower. Luck game. Get the idea. I'm going to have my inventory full of items, by the way. Accuracy game. And Blaze the Circus Master, who's a dragon, by the way. Um, so you can exchange points for various things. Um, you can get golden pyramids, kegs of wine, and so on. And you exchange. I 
apparently. Cat. I have cat, can't you tell? He really wants my attention. Anyway. So you exchange those crappy presents for these type of presents. And what we want are golden pyramids. We want a lot of golden pyramids. Also, prize from the Circus of the Sun. The emblem of the circus and the word Abdul are dis uh, faintly etched on the bottom of the pyramid. This is Abdul's discount pyramid, by the way. And we will need this for Abdul's discount everything else. Speed game. Who has the highest speed in my party? 130, 104, 148. You have the highest speed. Oops. Wow, I'm actually losing speed game occasionally. Um, I will stick with the intellect game because I think intellect is the highest stat I have total. One six. No, might is definitely the highest stat I have. So we'll just do might game for a while. I have plenty of money, so I'm not too concerned about this. And the rewards that you get for exchanging those are actually really nice. Sadly, I have to click each time. We're filling up our inventory, by the way. And I do mean fill up inventory. Also, I should probably finish enchanting. So I can just get rid of them as I see fit. I accidentally cast Starburst. Whoops. Oh, right. I have no inventory space. Uh, none of these are super awesome anyway. Okay. Now let's go exchange for cat. Uh, how am I doing? I have a lot of... Okay, so now I have pyramids, lots of pyramids, which we can go deal with later. And, hmm. Nice to see you. Fill up our inventory one more time. Whee, isn't this fun watching me play games? Yeah, this is going to be a fairly boring video, but that's okay. I I don't think I've ever had Nikolai stay in my party like this before, so I don't know. I have no idea what happens if I've taken him to the circus, played everything, then return. Okay. Lots of pyramids. Lots of pyramids. Okay. What happens if I go back to Castle Iron Fist at this point? Oh, He's just not there. Prince and heir to the throne of Enroth. Okay. That's not what I was expecting to have happen. If I would have known that, I would have ended up hitting this before leveling instead of after. Oh well. Um, let's... Go back to New Serpical because both places I need to go to are based out of New Serpical. And we are going to go back to Dragon Sand temporarily. Let's enter turn base mode because this is going to be a little painful. This is the only time in the game where I usually wish I had two Mind Magic users. Mind, telekinesis. <laughs> this is what Dragon Sand is actually like, by the way. This giant pyramid will be a major dungeon later on. That will be multiple episodes. But where we want to go is down here, which is known as Abdul's Discount Resort. Also, this is where the pedestal is, so I wanted to go here anyway for that. So, 
This is where you can trade pyramids and kegs for items. Uh, you can trade for accessories, weapons, and armor. This is actually one of the best ways to get really good armor in the game. Greetings. Uh, there's some other things here too. You can trade lamps for gems, which is a, usually a terrible idea. Nice to meet you. Um, got a banker and a barrister here. There's not really much here in general. A trader, weapons master. There's some good NPCs, but well, you don't really need them. Master healer, enchanter. Pleased to meet you. And this is Abdul. Abdul, this is his resort. Welcome to my desert resort. You'll notice we don't have the riffraff associated with the towns and villages of lands here. Take a moment to relax and enjoy the serenity of the desert, my friends. If you're interested, we have a few traders here that will trade rare items for weapons and armor. It may be worth your while to check them out. It seems rumors abound about my little resort. Alas, the fountain of youth everyone seems to be talking about is not here. It's actually a few days to the west. And that's actually true. Abdul, the name behind Abdul's discount insert thing here, is actually telling the truth. Instructor, merchant. Hello. Spellmaster, game master. Like I said, each of the good NPCs are here. Watermaster, windmaster. Uh, one thing I wanted to do. Where was it? Is it this one? Had something about Abdul's. Resort Isle. I've heard that Abdul has his resort in the south of Dragon Sand. <laughs> Some resort is probably filled with dragons. You, you, you literally live in the resort. Anyway, let's go trade for some stuff. Um, I have decent armor now. Normally I do armor, but I'm actually not doing too bad in the armor department. I'm still going to hit armor first though. So here's a piece of armor. This is a very high level piece of armor because it's the maximum level of items. That would be really nice if I had an archer. I don't have an archer. Hey, how's it going? Armor. That's actually really nice armor. That's very high armor class for leather. I don't have a place to put this, do I? Oh, you have inventory space. Um, I don't care to trade for weapons. To be honest, I don't need them. Let's get some accessories uh, from kegs, which are the weaker ones. It's actually not that bad. Um, yep, you're not fitting anything more like that in there. Uh, let's trade for some good accessories. You'll notice books end up in the accessories, and that's the one downside of trying to get it that way. Hello. Uh, let's trade for some sets of armor. And that will be it, because I don't have the inventory space for anything else. That's actually really nice, too. So, yeah, this is strictly better. So we finally got an upgrade to our Majestic Chain. Um, we're resistant to stone. That would have been nice earlier game. Um, dang it, I don't really have much inventory space, do I? Might plus 21. I'll have to think about that for a bit. Intellect plus 22, on the other hand, I don't have to think about. Yeah, I do, because I don't have regeneration of items. Damn it. Luck 22 versus... Ooh. I think I'd actually prefer the luck. Or I prefer that. Speed 23. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be wearing one of those. I'll wear the one that's speed 25 instead, though. Let's give that to... Actually, I think I'd like him to have it. It's hers. I have an intellect boost. And have... Electric resistance instead of fire resistance. Actually, how about you have speed 23 instead? That works. The books, shared life, and flying fist. Both are cell bait at this point to me. Rings, accuracy 16. Personality 8 is cell bait. Ooh, yeah. 
space, you're going to find space for that. Yeah, that ring is going. There we go. Now our fire magic is much better. Spell points 25. This is actually one of the best rings in the game. Um, we're going to go like that. This is the point of going to Abdul's Discount Resort. It's to get good loot. It's the first time in the game we want... Did, did I have broken our amulet? Yes, I did. The first time in the game we're basically going to have the ability to get good stuff. Um, so what this is actually doing is that the way the game works, there's loot tables and various monsters will basically go, oh, go grab like a level seven item. Um, these are the highest level loot. So this is the equivalent of what drops off of dragons, except dragons can drop artifacts and relics and a duels discount resort can't. Okay. Book. Shoes. I'll get a couple of weapons as well. I don't really need the weapons, to be honest. Lloyd's Beacon, both my mages have. Mass Distortion. I guess. Uh, Ring of Speed plus 22 is nice. That's a decently nice helm. Do I have any crappy helms? I mean, that's kind of crappy, but... Oops. I'll just stick that there for now. Amulet of Might, 19, Luck, 21. Oof. Ah, that's a really nice set of gauntlets. Except that I have regen stuff on my gauntlets. Dang it. The same problem. Also, I keep aiming wrong. Accuracy, 24 on boots. I uh, don't actually need... You have no inventory space. I mean, you do, but it's arranged stupidly. Power Cure, yeah, I already have. Flying Fist, I already have. Druid Life, and Lloyd's Beacon, yeah, all of those I already have. Can't do much with those anyway. Arrange things like that, and uh, like that. Nope. Uh -huh. Just toss that out. <laughs> now I have the space for it. Okay. Um, that's all mate also. Might 16 on a crown, not worth it. Armor 17 on a ring, might be worth it. Those amulets are really nice. What was your amy? We'll send all resistances. I can rearrange this where plus 10 all resistances can go to you. And instead, you wear plus 19 might. That makes sense. Accuracy 23. Once more, really nice gauntlets. Well, those are going to go to you. Um. Personality 16, yours is Endurance 10. You need to be more personable, I've decided. And, okay. I'm just gonna get a couple of weapons. All right, when are we getting weapons? Jeweled Dagger, that's Enchant Bait. Also Enchant Bait. I already had Snorkel's Axe. Death Mace, also Enchant Bait. Enchant Bait, I don't have any inventory space anymore. And Cell Bait. Not that I have the inventory for it. Okay, let's enchant that. And then the two three weapons down below also need to be enchanted. Yes, you are now the fastest member of the party. That's actually what I wanted, so I can enchant quicker. Okay. That's increased knockback on a dagger. That's a little weird, but okay. Increased rate of recovery. That's always nice. 
and one to six fire you're doing one to six fire with a worse mace because that's 2d5 plus 9 and this is 2d4 plus 11. oops not steam there we go <sighs> divine dagger of recovery yeah let's make sure everybody has a divine dagger on character every mage has a divine dagger of recovery the knockback one is just eh. Nothing else needs to be enchanted. All right. Let's get out of here for a bit. Back to New Serpical. Yes, back to New Serpical. And yeah, I telekinesis the chest and didn't loot anything from it. I decided at the last moment it wasn't worth it. Um, let's fly to move faster, except I keep running into things. I actually need to sell regular items first. Sell, 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 sell. Oh, it's so nice, but I don't know if I can justify wearing it. I'm just making back all of my money, aren't I? Of the sky is so much better than this for me. So it's still gonna be sold. And people are here. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now. Goodbye, Internet. I will see you next time.